DX Gauges for WPF includes an advanced digital gauge control. In this video, we'll explore its view types, presentation layers, predefined models, and animation styles built into the digital gauge control. So let's get started. Begin by creating a new WPF application project. From the toolbox, add a digital gauge control to the application. To stretch the gauge control to fill the window, right-click on the gauge control. From the context menu, select Reset Layout, All. The XAML editor updates to the digital gauge control's new settings. Numeric text can be painted using the 7 or 14 segment display style, and alphanumeric text can be painted with the 14 segment display style. To choose the 14 segment display style, Navigate to the Symbol View property of the Digital Gauge Control and select Matrix View 8 by 14. Enter a display message into the text property. Custom effects and appearance modifications can be easily added by introducing layers. To add a border, navigate to Digital Gauge Control's Layers Collection property and double-click to invoke the Layers Collection editor form. By default, the Layers Collection is empty. Add a new digital gauge layer using the Add button. A border is drawn to fill the digital gauge control. Modify the layer's display from the gauge control by setting the vertical alignment property to Center. The digital gauge control also ships with numerous predefined models with each defining a consistent look and feel for all gauge segments. Set the model property to Digital Future Model. To provide a responsive look and feel to your applications, the digital gauge control supports multiple animation effects. Introduce a scrolling effect for the display text by setting the control's animation style property to Creeping Line Animation. By default, the text scrolls in the direction it's read. To reverse this direction, set the direction property of the animation to left to right. Finally, the scroll speed can be modified from the refresh time property. Here, We'll reduce the speed to half of default, indicating a check mark for the repeat property loops the animation. Before we run our application, notice the XAML editor displays all of our modifications. Alternatively, the steps in this video could have been taken programmatically. And that's it. Let's run the application to see the results. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.